Yeah, the 64. Welcome back to What's New. We're doing a little math on the set right now. Uh, you've probably seen these gargantuan water bottles in stores. You've seen them on Amazon. They're crazy. There's a couple right there. They range between 64 and 128 ounces. 128 ounces is the full deal. That's the gallon. Our web producer, Ben Axelrod, started this trend in the newsroom. This is actually the second go-around because I know Matt and I were doing it last year. And just by doing that, Ben lost seven pounds in two weeks. Wow, I would always incredible. think you would gain weight because of water weight, right? Oh, apparently we're about to be a little educated. bit something different happened in there. Well, we have a lot of questions. I'm sure you do, too. Uh, especially about that 128-ounce water bottle. This is... This is the baby version. That's this only, is 64. That's a half gallon. So it's twice this. Twice that. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Uh, so, of course, we called our friends at the Cleveland Clinic, and registered dietitian Kate Patton now joins us on set. Look, we know it's important to stay hydrated. That That is universal knowledge, I think. But can you actually drink too much water? You can, but it's really, really rare. Okay. So a gallon is not too much. No, it's not. All right. Especially so for men. It does depend, you know, on your size and, you know, females and males. But um, for men, that much is, is safe. Okay. So we've been debating this in the newsroom. Now, Carmen has been doing this. She was doing it. She started it last week. And I would walk in and... I would look at her water bottle and be like halfway gone. I said, you're doing well. How's it going? And she got to the point where she's like, oh, this is easy. I mean, I'm used to it now. Today I came in. I didn't see her water bottle. And I said, where's your water bottle? She's like, I quit. Oh. And I said, why? And she said, because I feel like I'm in the third trimester of pregnancy. Ah, uh, there's so the So what water are weight. the pros and the cons of doing this? Sure. So, I mean, most of our body is made up of water. So we do need right. it. So 60% of our body is water. 75% of our muscles are water, and it, you know, keeps your skin healthy. You know, our body needs it, our blood needs it. Um, so that's why, you know, you do need it, especially if you're physically active also. But some of the negatives would be if you don't drink enough, then signs of that are constipation or dizziness, um, dry mouth, uh, even muscle cramps. Yeah, so, you're dehydrating, essentially. <laughs> right, if you don't and drink she's enough. listing all these off, I'm like, yep, yep. Jack, yep, Jack, yep, Jack. Yep, it's not a good sign. Well, how much water should we be drinking every day? Sure, so the National Academy of Medicine recommends 125 ounces for men and about 90 ounces for women. Oh my God. But the caveat is that 20% of that should come from food. So think about fruits and vegetables give you water also. Right, yeah. So if you subtract that 20%, it's about 100 ounces for men and only 75 ounces okay. for women. Only 75 So we're still ounces. talking more than this. This is 64 There's ounces. There's no mm -hmm. way I so drink So for the, the average male then should drink probably one and a half of these a day. Right. I, I want to ask you about the weight loss piece of this right. because Ben said he's lost seven pounds mm -hmm. in two weeks. Um, is it, I've heard one of the benefits is it f makes you feel more full and that way your portion sizes are smaller because you need to eat less to get that full feeling. Is that, is there yeah, benefits in true. that? Exactly. Yep. Okay. Right. You do feel more satiated. So you know, in a way it's a, it's a diet. So I mean, some can look at it that way. Is this the, you know, 70 ounces of water for women on top of coffee in the morning? No, that, <laughs> includes, <laughs> that includes your coffee. It's total Well, the bet you're probably pretty close. I have total questions. Total fluid. Right? Does, <laughs> it is total does fluid. Wine so, uh, yeah. not exactly, okay. right? That's kind of in its own category. <laughs> well, uh, that can be dehydrated. We appreciate you coming in. We really do. Because we've had a lot of fun talking about it in the newsroom. Yeah. Uh, and now we've got a little bit more education from, uh, from an expert, dietitian Kate Patton from the Cleveland Clinic. Thanks so much for coming in. Sure, happy appreciate to be here. It. Yeah, and I've got a lot of water to drink today to get to my goal. <laughs>